how they're growing. All right, so they came in. Homie came in. He recommended this video. Uh, I know nothing about this. I know zero, 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 anything about this. Uh, I don't think I've ever watched a Magi video before. No, no disrespect. I don't know. Uh, but let's check this out. So what the state of... Uh, Magi's a great TC. Yeah, okay. Okay, bad, bad, bad. Um, no, yeah, James, you're good. I appreciate you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. All right, cool. Shout out to this person. Uh, let's see it. Uh, the state of withering waves. Honest review. This is eight minutes. Probably gonna take us 30 minutes with the talking we do. Almost been out for half a year now. <laughs> Marketed as an alternative to Genshin Impact, Uva put itself. Has it been half a year? Oh my god, that's insane. Okay. In front of a lot of expectation as well as competition. Okay. How is the game doing now? <laughs> Resident Spreadsheet Warrior. Point, I've had plenty of time to play through all the content crazy. the game has to offer. And I wanted to take a step back to talk about the state of the game. Let's get into it. Doesn't feel like either. I am getting old. First, 26, I'm old. We need to be real. Like other open world. First things first, rest in peace, Uncle Phil. For real. You're only father I ever knew. As of course, I'm down now. So if it's like a few weeks, it does still like a few weeks. Isn't she a TOF, TOC? I don't know, Lieb. I don't know. Apparently, she's a Wuwa, uh, Wuwa TC. But also, welcome, my man. I've ever great day today. Magic welcome games man. that have a great launch. Themes aren't as rainbow and butterflies. Many you, I appreciate you, man. Thank you, thank you. So, why are people losing mm, interest okay. in Wuthering Waves? I do want to say, I think the 4-4-1-1-1-1 smack versus 10-10 was absolutely blown out of proportion. Uh, I thought it was the cringiest shit ever. I, I don't think there's anything wrong with 4-4-1-1-1. Four, four, one, one, one. Like, objectively... Obviously, at some point, you would want to get all the echoes. I mean, this is a beating a dead horse, but like at the beginning of the game, four four one 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 was still not a bad strategy to complete content. So just just sidebar that that's just my two to cents. To understand this, let's talk about the content and gameplay cycle. Wuwa's general content offerings oh, are I didn't familiar know that, Lee. to the genre. I don't know that at all. You can explore. I'm gonna put you off in a minute. One-time puzzles for pinch amounts of resources complete very quick daily tasks for rich rewards, and spend your daily energy on bosses or instances, both of which have trivial difficulty, in order to obtain materials to strengthen your characters. All of this to become strong enough for what is the current endgame. No, that's valid, Brendo. Me too. Or TOA for short. No, me going to need after this. I appreciate you saying I'm going to make a peanut butter jelly sandwich after this. Thank you, thank you. TOA presents on a bi-weekly schedule, offering the largest amount of renewable you, premium currency earnable in-game outside of ah, the really, Sarah? And you complete the content set with 4411? I, I'm not going to lie to you, man. While I don't think TOA is the worst game mode of all time, um, I do think TOA is... I don't know. I don't know. I, I don't have the best opinion on it. I think I think it's literally just abyss. Um, it's not bad. It's not good. I think it's just there. I would definitely love something more creative. I I, I think TOA and Overdrive TOA, Overdrive TOA. I don't think is a great system. I don't, I don't think I think the new the new one is not good. I mean, it's nice that it gives you extra rewards and it is permanent, so you don't have to feel rushed. But I do think it's not great. What's up? Gives towers trash. Yeah, it's a nice way of putting it. My Jitsi four four one one because my three quest cycles can't incur rate. Yo, same though, low key. Loki same. Yeah, I think Tower is kind of eh. I really like Holograms. I, I would love to see a reset on Holograms. I feel like if they reset Holograms and tied more rewards to it, I would enjoy this game a lot more. I like Tower. Um, I think I think Tower is not horrible. You beg Tech to ever try it every day, he's gonna fucking hate it. Tectone's gonna say that it's fucking dog shit. And and he's not wrong. It Wuwa excels in the points where they don't copy Genshin. Their lower points are the points where they copy Genshin. You know what I mean? So Tower is one. It's objectively dog shit. Yeah, yeah. It, it it's just it's just an abyss. It's just abyss. That's all it is. So I, I honestly feel that normal TOA isn't easy for some CC players. To think if you don't have good builds, you ain't clearing TOA. Yeah, no, I don't disagree with you, E. And that's why I've brought up the echo problem in other videos where people have told me to jump into a car in front of Roblox. But I do think as an end game mode. It is a little underwhelming because we literally have the same exact thing in Genshin. And then after that, the new TOA is just not good, right? I was about to show it, but it is what it is. The new TOA is just, it's just not good. It's either super duper locked to uh, DPS, 
super duper locked to an element or super duper locked to CC. So here's my farming tic tac. Uh, 20 minutes to get a look. Oh, here's my farming tic tac. Echoes every day, 20 minutes to get one LT. Oh, okay. I want them to just copy CC, make a survival mode, refresh, and throw the hologram boss into the combos. I agree. Then just give me fights that are actually difficult on a strict timer. The rewards aren't that great either. The rewards are not that great. <clears throat> New TOA needs to be refreshable. I think it needs to be refreshable. I think you do the I think you can do the Genshin thing with uh with Imaginarium Theater. One time rewards where you collect it one time for beating it, and then after that it refreshes. So that way people never feel like they're missing out on rewards. You know what I'm saying? Um, but I agree with you 100 percent Osteo. I think ZZZ has a great end game system. I think someone that holds Wuwa back uh sometimes is the TOA makes you force to build three to five teams with no way of using most units in the game. Well, Kruzik, I'm not gonna lie to you. I'm not trying to sound like a snob. The new TOA does that. The old TOA, you only need two teams. The old TOA, you only need two teams. You need two DPSs, two sub DPSs, and two supports. Uh, the the notion that you need multiple teams for TOA is not accurate. Um, for the new one, yes. For the old one, it's very simple. I, I dropped a video on that, but I don't think echoes are a problem. I think echoes are part of the problem. Um, maybe I like it because I've I've never played Genshin's a novelty for me. I think so. I think I think if you played Genshin, you would not enjoy this um at all i i don't think you would like it in the slightest you only need like seven characters to go to TOA? yeah pretty much as it stands right now the balancing of the forest requires roughly a level 80 main dps for three different teams in order to earn the full rewards meaning it is achievable within just over a month which is the time it takes to get i don't agree with this take hold on this is of course in terms of an FTP slash mole spender estimate. Swiping for limited character sequences and or weapons can over triple the damage output of a DPS, effectively allowing the content to be cleared even sooner. After Union level 60, level 90 is unlocked. When you go TOA, I'm gonna log into my account real quick. When you go to TOA, there's always something to do. I'm sure we'll get some creative housing. Sysline PGR, I hope so too. You only need seven characters to your TOA. You don't need three. Uh, maybe, bro, I will. I can't clear backseat. I got you, brother. Don't worry about it. Uh, we'll, we'll, do, we'll do more raffles tomorrow and shit. I, I guess maybe I'm nitpicking a little bit. Maybe. I don't know what their definition of DPS is, but I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you something real quick. Um, I dropped a video on it. It's on the channel. A bunch of people watch it. Uh, I'm just going to show you now. I'm not going to make it. People who watch the video go rewatch that. But pretty much, you really only need two DPSs. There's two strategies that you can use. You use one DPS left tower, one DPS right tower, and then you use the one DPS. Uh, you use the same DPS on left and right, and the same DPS in the middle tower. Or you split it half and half. One on left, one on right, one in middle, one on... You know what I mean? Like, it's just back and forth. So... The rest of the floors, you use filler characters. You don't necessarily need a DPS per se. But again, I, I don't know what they're considering DPS. I guess are they saying like, do you build Colchero and you count that as a DPS? I don't know. But realistically, you don't need three DPSs. That is just not accurate. Uh, to be to be very transparent with you, as someone who's cleared a million accounts, it's not accurate. <clears throat> DPS checks on floors much more lax. How lax? Well, I've played into resistant floors as well as use a level one weapon. You need filler, yes, but your filler don't need to be a DPS. You can go to TOA, this is my account, my account's not built, I don't play my account. Uh, for the people saying, <laughs> but yeah, gosh, bad. Uh, for your filler, you don't need to use a DPS. Or, <clears throat> should be, if you're doing the strategy that I'm saying, <clears throat> you actually don't need filler. Because um, you can use Changli here, which costs one vigor, and then Changli here, that's four, right? So that's five vigor, Changli here, Changli here, <clears throat> excuse me, and then use Jinsi here and here. So you don't even need filler for the first floor. You just need filler for two and three, and two and three are really not that bad. Rover clears floor one, two, three sides. The right side free DPS. Yeah, exactly. In your main DPS, uh, your main DPS main look shit. Wait, what does that mean? Dad, you need three P three DPS characters. How do you figure filler for two and three? How do you need three? How do you need three DPSs? Nine is four crits in a row with eighty percent. Yeah, bro, it's rough. How do you need three DPSs, Iragoon? I really don't agree with that. For for this TOA, not for this one, not for the not for overdrive, for hazard, for this you only need two. You only need two DPSs. You don't need three. Like straight up, use filler characters for two and three. This field tower shouldn't be exceed hologram four difficulty and then make super hard tower for the players. Um, I don't know, man. I I I mean, 
The third one doesn't need to be gigabill, but you need to have three to clear the one for filler. And that's what I'm saying. Maybe I'm nitpicking a little bit, and that's why I'm I'm I'm, leave, I'm cutting it some slack and I'm leaving it. Like I'm not gonna harp on that opinion. But like if you're talking about built built characters, you only need two. The third one doesn't need to be that built. And then yeah, I get what you're saying. I mean, I, I do think that our endgame mode do needs to be challenging. Um so I don't mind TOA being difficult. I like the new TOA that it's well, no, let me not say that. I don't like the new TOI, but I like the fact that it, it is difficult, but I don't like the way they did the difficulty. I think I think these gotcha games have bad boss design and bad and bad endgame design. Like, uh, what's it called? Elusive Realm is fun, right? But making bosses that just run around or fly in the air that you can't fucking hit them, or they just teleport back and forth, is not good boss design and is not good mechanics. I would like bosses that have that are mechanically sound that are more difficult to fight and make sense you know what i'm saying it doesn't have to we don't need a raid but for fuck's sakes if you want to put a boss in the toa make something with like good mechanics you know what honestly pat uh honest opinion average skill will players can't clear difficulty six how many not all of them oh for sure for sure that is that is that that is challenging for cal uh casuals without a doubt fauci is a piece of shit i agree i agree i agree but 80 to 90 is a big increase so that um, is true sequence very five star true. units and have still been able to get the full crisps so for end game players the end game is a bit undertuned to say the least in addition to this repeatable end game content there are also one-time challenges for players the overdrive tower and holograms the overdrive tower is a set of additional toa floors that rather than this game was not good uh holograms are fun though holograms are fun they just need to be refreshable but this is not a good game mode. I, I don't even get me started. I think it's very limiting. I think that obviously, if you're super duper skilled, you can complete it with free to play towers. Uh, free to play characters also showed us that. But certain levels need certain things, and there's just really no way of getting around it. And there's not a wide variety enough of characters, in my opinion, that are actually good in order for this to be an effective game mode. So I think this game mode is just fundamentally flawed. I like the fact that obviously you can get rewards and shit, and it's not time. But uh, excuse me. Let me rephrase that. I think there should be resets. But again, as I said before, I think they need the IT thing. Uh, maybe that doesn't matter. The reason player base might not be lower is they don't uh, gel with the game or something else. Wait, what do you mean? What do you mean, Kruzik? I just hit Rider 6. Oh, and I feel like the aim for... Yeah. Hologram 6 is probably the hardest hardest uh, thing in the game for Rider, for sure. I think capitalizing for sure. on Wua's satisfying boss battles is loaded with trash mobs. It features buffs tailored to push the requirement of certain limited units. Which, while the floors can be completed without, leads to a much more frustrating experience. When completed with the intended units, the DPS requirements on these floors has as much leeway as the normal tower, with players being able to clear it in less than half the allotted time, time despite this being one-time challenge e. content. <clears throat> Next, holograms are one-time boss challenges I love these. that are incredibly punishing. I love these. The timer on these is nearly a non-factor, and the fights are more about survival than a DPS check. To put the DPS requirement... Uh, real talk though, if essential content is made too challenging, it'll wash out a lot of non tryhard players and gotcha, uh, new types... Yes, I agree with you, but there is still, there is still a fine balance... Dude, holograms are the best end game. I agree. That's what got me into the game. It's at least not bosses. You can instantly one shot a waves of boring enemies. I agree with the Yato as well. You need casual players. For sure. You need casual players. However, you are able to give rewards to casual players while still give rewards to people who are at the end game and not make casuals feel left out. There is a balance. And realistically, if a casual player feels left out because they didn't get 300 asteroid, they either need to swipe their credit card and need to get good and play the game every day. You know what I mean? Like, it, it, there's, there is an in-between. I feel like Genshin has conditioned people to feel like there is not not an in-between, but there is an in-between. And again, I have said this multiple times. I'll repeat the sentiment again. All of these bigger gotchas that are coming out and the ones that we have now need to stop copying Genshin. Do your own thing. Please, for fuck's sake, stop copying Genshin's rewards. If I explore and find a chest that took me 20 minutes to find, it should not give me five Primo Gems. They lower the asteroid for uh, higher starts. Exactly. 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 Casual should just not ch touch grass. I agree, too. Genshin has fallen off the cliff with difficulty. Well, Genshin doesn't have difficulty, but the reason why they don't have difficulty is because they feel the thing in which that uh, casuals, they don't want to lock casuals out of, uh, you know, 
healing left out because they can't clear the abyss at floor 12. What up, Parthy? What up, Stinky? Maybe just remove the asteroid from 27 and 30 uh, and triple the trips. You could do that. There's, there's quite a few ways. There, there's so many different ways. That's an option. I mean, uh, like, it's, it's, it's silly. I think it's silly. I think it's very, very silly. Again, adding refreshable rewards to the new TOA is a way to make casuals not feel left out and make in-game players feel rewarded because once they've done that, now there's no reason to ever go back there. So it's pretty much a dead game mode. Unfortunately, t tower, excuse me, holograms are the same way. Once you complete holograms, there's no reason to play it again. They should ease, they should have a monthly reset, at least a monthly reset. If you don't want to do a bi-weekly, I get it. Because that would be another way to get a free echo, which God forbid you get a free echo, even though they're already fucking guaranteed from farming them in the open world. But at that point, put something to the holograms because they're easily the best content. Um, wait, is the overdrive zone a one-time thing? Yes, it is. I really don't give a fuck if it refresh rewards for new hardcore mode after uh, just echo, character, web, tuners, tuners. I'll take that. I agree. You don't even need to. It doesn't even need to be asteroids. It, it, like you said, it could be tuners. It could be echoes. Patch resets with minor changes to buffs, debuffs for holograms. That too. Debuffs are sick. Or a debuff mode. Fuck it. Morphable echoes as refresh rewards. That'd be valid too. You don't need to give Asterite. And I feel like that's a big thing. When 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 a lot of these gacha games say, what are we going to give them? It doesn't need to be Asterite. It could literally be anything else. It could literally be anything else. This game has so many different materials. Like tuners. Like tubes. Like echoes. The morphable echoes. Mobbles. Whatever the case may be. You don't need to keep it just to Asterite. So, I agree with you. I think it's very good. I, I agree. Speaking for experience, it seems. Wait, what happened? Um, only Brenda will read. <laughs> That's crazy. In a nutshell, That's crazy. I went through all the highest difficulty holograms, clearing in around half the allotted time or less. With a single character and no loot box. I had a lot of fun with this content. This is the best content. The challenge I've put myself to is completely artificial. Players can take advantage of food bugs, revival items, energy stacking, and of course, actually using the whole team to overcome these challenges much easier. However, I definitely stand by this content being Fuwa's shining example of gameplay. As I think another easy fix, straight up, straight up, take the co-op echo game, make it permanent, make it refresh, and you can make it soloable like how they have now. I, I mean, like, if, if you're going to, obviously, they're going to add more uh, holograms down the road, but that's challenging. That is challenging, right? You can't use your main echo. Um, you have, and the solo portion would be fun. Make, make rewards for solo and shit. Like, make it more, m more harder. Add another tier. Because they're not wrong. Other than Infernal Rider, I think they're all pretty fucking easy. I'm just going to crown list of five with Alto. Just Alto. Just Alto is kind of fucking insane. I'm not going to lie. I hate Alto, but that, that's kind of crazy. Um, yeah, I, I think there's, again, I think there's multiple ways around this. Um, for sure. Easily. I think there's a lot of ways around this. It highlights what Wua is best at. Challenging boss fights requiring you to I got you, Brendo. I'll do it. Attacks, as opposed to bad auto targeting and trash mob management. So let's do a quick <laughs> recap. Ooh, let me go over here. I'm covering the VTuber. Content has a low bar to be cleared. And the non-repeatable content, while some of it is good, doesn't have much higher requirements. I actually don't know if it has a low bar, though. I don't know if I agree with that. I actually think the bar is a little bit higher than Genshin. Um, I think, I, I, I think the bar is higher because you need to gear the characters, and then this is a more heavily gameplay-focused game that I think that... I don't know if I necessarily agree. TOA is higher. I think TOA is higher. I think, t I th I think the bar is... If you're comparing... Middle Tower's a bitch? Yeah. Yeah, no, no, no. You need to have... Uh, shoot me your details. Let's go. <laughs> Get someone good to do it. That's crazy, e Ragoon. Nah, let him do it. Let him do it. Let him do it. Fuck him. Fuck him. And sometimes slow four. Yeah, that's what I'm saying, man. Like, you need your talent to be 10. Uh, yo, AL, I appreciate you, brother. Have a good one, man. Enjoy. Enjoy. Get some rest, man. Oh, seven, brother. Get some good sleep. Um, you need your talents to be, like, 9 or 10. I feel like 8's really pushing it for middle tower. Like, really, really, really pushing it. You need, you need tight rotations. You need to have perfect builds. Like, everything needs to be perfect. Just keep them S4. Yeah, if you just S4 them, obviously, uh, you know, S S6, everything, uh, Towns 2-4, you got it. Yo, it's a good variant. Uh, yeah, yeah, we're watching this video right now. But yeah, I don't I don't know if I agree with that. I, I think the, the entry to barriers is a, is a little higher than people. 
uh, say. I, and that's my, that was again, going back, relating to my echo issue that I have. I think the problem with echoes is because of the fact that echoes take so long to get, uh, depending on your luck, and they are still resin locked, wh whether people want to admit it or not, that uh, the, area, the, the entry, the barrier to entry is still high, for sure. Environments to be cleared. This leads to an end game of developing your characters and echoes. I don't know if I agree best. with this. Only to crush the content you're already Resting, what does that mean? more. I understand that this might be a touch grass moment, as not all players spend yeah. as much time optimizing rotation. It's really easy, the first two showers, Casual, and first two showers. Really? Content is a Holy good shit. Thing, right? I gotta get on my yes, ZZZ grind. And also, well, no. Remember that this game is targeting an audience that has mostly. I don't know, you said resin, not sure what you meant. Uh, no, I was saying that that upgrading upgrading echoes are still resin locked. People in my comments don't want to admit that, but it's still resin locked. Like, legitimately, you cannot upgrade without resin. It is impossible to upgrade without resin. You know what I'm saying? Plus, the build is for a difficult your skill that uh, is really barrier to good builds. Time is really good. Time is really the good barrier to builds. True. Very true. Very true. We already indulged in Genshin, which hits a similar endgame niche as Bua. Both of them being casual open world games means that there are a lot of people who ultimately lose interest in it when they realize it's just the same base formula for the game. Now, I'm obviously not one of these people, as I'm still covering the game and having fun with the combat, which I think is great. But do you understand that this isn't enough to keep everyone interested? And sure. I just want to be real here. When playing Wuwa CBT, I was also skeptical about the game, and was worried it reached the same state of endgame. But it really can't be helped, can it? Gotcha games, or pay-to-win games that have somehow become acceptable in the West, just yeah, yeah, can't no, be too competitive in the content. Or you'll end up with something like Tower of Fantasy, where power creep is endless, and being a multiplayer game, has to balance the DPS and raids to largely be dealt through mechanics rather than normal means. Wait, or else hold on, I need to rehear that. Instead of somehow become acceptable in the West. I need to rehear that. Just can't be too competitive in the content. Or you'll end up with something like Tara Fantasy, where power creep is endless. And being a multiplayer game, has to balance the DPS and raids to largely be dealt through mechanics rather than normal means or else FTPs are useless. It wouldn't be too far of a stretch. Um, yeah, that's an, that's an interesting point. Uh, I, I still think that casual, there's a balance between these two, and I think no gacha game has hit the right balance yet, because realistically, Genshin copy Legend of Zelda and then just put gacha to it, and then Star Rail, Star Rail's power could be crazy. Wuwa copied Genshin. Wuwa pretty much copies, all, again, all the bad things from Wuwa I think are copied from Genshin. I'm hoping that these newer games like NTE and, and whatnot have different reward system and different reward models because that would really make me happy. Um, I, I think it's very easy to, to, to balance casual and hardcore player. Um, and also, Wuwa is a more hardcore video game. I feel like there's not as many casual people playing Wuwa. I think if you're playing Wuwa, you are probably on the more hardcore side most of the time um genuinely like genshin is way more casual friendly way 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 more casual friendly and yeah i i don't know man i feel like also making end game tied to mechanics like raids as opposed to just straight up dps is not a bad thing either if you ever played a destiny 2 raid you know what i'm saying like i osteo knows this sometimes you are killing a boss by not even doing damage directly to the boss it might be through a mechanic or even in genshin look at uh what's it called oceanid you don't fight oceanid themselves you fight these little mobs that they spawn and then it kills oceanid so i don't know if i necessarily agree with that i don't think it's a bad thing obviously it can get out of hand like tof but i i think there's an argument to be made that you know it's it's not really it's not really that hard to do i just think no one's done it yet and i think wuwas went a very safe route by adding a few little things and that was it. I, I don't think they want to do anything too out of the ordinary to scare the Genshin that players that away. The real That's my honest opinion on it. Is not just 30 out of 30 tower, but rather community focused. 
like just little things such as showing off your builds and echo RNG, or doing funny clear challenges like solos with unexpected characters. Yeah, that, that comes from just the content creators and all thing. I wanted to do my part in helping to kindle the interest for indulging in what Rua has to offer past today's game. For the next several weeks, I'll be hosting a weekly themed challenge where the fastest clear times as well as random participants win some codes that give I agree. stripes, shell credits, I agree. and more. Well, like, and good needs to get on that. Like, the same shit they have for Genshin and Star Rail, they need to get on that shit for sure. The best Without a doubt. On our weekly reset stream on Monday. Like, ASAP. And watch all the cool tech people cook Cause up. fuck me, man. The first weekly challenge will be Light versus Dark. To clear Color Bam 6 with Havoc Rover Solo. In these challenges, there will be no food involved, no energy pre charging, and no pre buffing. Doing a really good, uh, really good CC doing shit like this. Runs can be seen in my Discord. That's fire. I fucked with that. There will be some form of balancing to account for different things and weapons. But though it'll be tricky to calculate, we'll figure something out. Anyways, these are just been my thoughts about the game after several Rover. months. I wanted to Brother, you'd probably do it. You'd probably do it. And see where we could go next as a community. Yo, Maggie's a W. That's what the hell? Right now. I'll be looking forward to the submissions for the event. I don't know how I never heard see of them you before. See you guys next time. Bye-bye. Yeah, it's a solid video, brother. Everyone go watch. Everyone go follow that video. Go like it and shit like that. 10 out of 10 on dead ass. Everyone go follow the homie. Um, I, I, I think it's a good video. I just think... I think these companies think too hard. I think there really isn't. I really don't think it's that it's that complicated to change this issue. You know what I mean? I I don't think so. If if you dropped an end game mode, now look at the comments. Oh, I'm sure the comments are toxic, Gib. I'm sure the comments are insane. Uh, it's probably exactly like my comment section. Fucking insane. Like, let's see. Uh, my passion for the game isn't diminished since release. I've been enjoying, uh, just half king of the black shore area for casual players like me. I like down, I like the downslide to slowly grind for characters, having too much to do and not even get the rewards though. For me, TOA is too high damage check. I like the downtime. To be honest, I have a life. I need time to level my characters. I don't have a team of three. You don't need three time, three teams. Core robot, the core robot. Woo will community toxics fuck bro. I've been saying that. Don't even get me started. I been, bro. I said it in Tectones DGens and I got attacked. I guess the harsh reality is that Woo is one of those niche games that just not for everyone. That's fine. If people lose interest and leave, that just means that the Woo isn't a game for them, and Woo shouldn't be a game for those kind of people. Much like ne like look at this, look at this. While well, respect uh, Magi's PG POV feels like her points are factored mostly towards stats and kits and less of player skills. I think Woo does a good job of compensating a player's lack of skill with the pick character. What the f bro? It's it, it's shit like this. It's stuff like this. It's like they try to cancel her, dude. They've tried to cancel me three times, RD. They're about to cancel me again tomorrow when I upload my video. It's saying that they're fucking stupid. Um, but no, they, they've tried to cancel me multiple times already. It, it is what it is. Uh, the, anything, anytime you critique Mother the game, has almost been out for if you critique Wuwa and you don't suck its dick, saying it's the greatest game of all time, uh, they will hate you forever. Now, I'm not going to lie to you. Uh, I think Koro doesn't like me either, but that's a different story. It is what it is. But, um... Yeah, it, it, it's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. You know what I mean? The second you say, ah, I don't, I don't feel this way, um, they, they get upset. You know what I mean? Fuck them. Good, keep up the good work. I appreciate you, brother. Yeah, no, we legitimately have a video coming out tomorrow of that. Cancel culture? Hey, fuck them, man. What can you do? But yeah, sh W video. W video. But I, I do, I, I think this does bring up a bigger discussion where, like, these, these characters, excuse me, these characters, these video games need to stop copying Genshin. If NTE has the same and, and i'm 95 percent sure it will let's be realistic like when you're exploring an nte and i open a chest and it gives me five ass right whatever the currency is and like it's the same exact reward type based system i will be a little disappointed i would like to see a gotcha get out of their element get out of their zone and do something different where it makes it more enjoyable but more rewarding to do things you know what i mean because genshin uh while i think the open world is definitely better than woo is is not is not as rewarding you know so that's my, that's, I don't even play Genshin and I hate uh, Biosmosis. <laughs> that's my two cents. Oh, seven. Love YouTube. Mwah.